Okay, so the muscle I have is the sternocleidomastoid. Um, this muscle, to concentrically contract it, its action, it laterally flexes the head and neck to the same side, rotates the head and neck to the opposite side, and bilaterally flexes the head and neck. And then to eccentrically contract this muscle, you would do the opposite, so you would um, bilaterally extend the head and neck, rotate the head and neck, the opposite side, and slowly and control lower the head and neck back down. And then isometrically, I would do all these actions about halfway, so fl uh, laterally flex the head and neck, rotate the head and neck to the opposite side, and bilaterally flex the head and neck. And then I would have someone apply manual resistance, so pushing down, and the muscle is contracting, but no motion is occurring. And then with this muscle, the, um, the origin is the sternal head, is the top of the manubrium, the clavicular head is the medial one-third of the clavicle. Um, the insertion is the mastoid process of the temporal bone and the lateral um, and the lateral portion of the superior neutral line of the occiput. And then the nerve is the spinal accessory nerve.